well today is it the 9th is it it is it's the 9th of april it's 2024 and uh, well we've come down to magaliff it's uh it's luna and savannah's last day in mallorca so uh they'll be going home tomorrow so we've brought them down to magaliff and we can have a little play on the sand and hopefully find somewhere that's going to give us an ice cream <gasps> how exciting is that well, here's the beach in Magaluf and there's quite a few people on. It's, uh, it's getting quite late in the afternoon now. Um, just coming up to four o'clock. Oh, it's after four o'clock, 20 past four. And uh, oh, no beds out, no uh, lifeguards out. You know, the girls are having a little walk along the wall. Lots of things are open and uh, more and more will be opening up very soon, here's uh, Hadley's Club. That's all looking as though it's getting ready and all the stuff that was hanging over there is gone. So that'll start to get cleaned up and get ready for the season very, very soon. Savannah's walking along the wall very well, very carefully. Ooh, old dad's hand tight. <laughs> A bit tricky. Come on, Savannah. It was a bit breezy and the temperature actually dropped quite a lot today. Um, it's a bit cooler, but we've got nice blue skies and it's really clear. We can see right across the Bay of Palma, right across to the other side. Looking really good. So temperatures today were more like 20 degrees than the 28, 29, 30 degrees. Well, we've had it well over 30 degrees last weekend. It was just ridiculous. Very warm. Some of the highest temperatures on record for April have been recorded in the last uh, two weeks and we're only just into April. So uh, well, who knows what's to come. Forecast for this coming weekend is uh, high temperatures again. Coming with that though, yesterday we had uh, a lot of dust, Sahara dust that blew over. We didn't actually get any rain, uh, but it seems to have blown away. So hence we've got these absolutely clear crisp horizons over there. Oh dear. I think Luna's just caught a hand on something, her arm on something. Lots more of the hotels are opening now as well. So, all exciting. All the football fans amongst you. Uh, well, we didn't win the Spanish Copa del Rey at the weekend, but uh, it was a great experience and they managed to get to extra time and to penalties. So, uh, a lot of positives, uh, but uh, this weekend we've got the, the Real Madrid match and uh, that's really much more important at the moment because uh, it's, uh, it's about staying in La Liga. We're not struggling too badly at the moment, we're in the bottom half but not, not, uh, not in the danger zone yet. But uh, games like this one against Real Madrid are really going to be tricky ones. Real Madrid of course got a match tonight against Manchester City so let's see how that one goes. But the exciting news for today um, is that the Spanish international team are going to be playing in Mallorca later this year. Um, it's the build-up to the Euro Cup and uh, it's probably the last big match they're going to have before that. And um, they're going to be playing Northern Ireland here in Mallorca on the 8th of June. So if you've got any fans out there who are going to be on holiday in Mallorca on the 8th of June and uh, you might want to look out to see if you can get some tickets for the cup match that's cup match the the match the international match between um, Spain and Northern Ireland the last one was I don't know, 10 12 years ago 
when Spain played Belarus here uh, in the Son Moy Stadium and uh, we did go to that so uh, really quite exciting and um, I kind of think the tickets were ridiculously expensive I can't remember but we went along and uh, we didn't sit in our normal seats of course because it wasn't a, uh, a Mallorca match so we had to sit in some different seats but uh, we still had a great view of the match and I think on that particular occasion Spain won um, by the slimmest of margins I think it was only about 1-0 uh, but it was another occasion I'm talking and going past places I've just been past there's the Dalkiri Palace that's not open yet and uh, the Follies Calvia Beach Club that's uh, some people there looking as though they're just about getting ready for it to open lots of work needs to be done here these are places that uh, do all their business over a very short period of time in the summer. The Magaluf could be sort of changing its clientele over the summer as well to some extent because one of the biggest hotels, which was the BH Hotel, um, has now been split into three more family oriented accommodation hotels so I'm not looking for the young ones who are expecting a big party but more of the families who are expecting to have a, a well, just generally a good time one of the big changes we've seen on the front here in uh, in Magaluf is the expansion of Tom Brown's. Tom Brown's has doubled in size and uh, as promised they're open. Uh, this is the new side over here and uh, got way more space it's now huge. Quite an amazing place Tom Brown's. Well, we just stopped by and we've uh, in Tom Brown's, we're all having a drink now. And uh, they found a little play area here, so the girls have found somewhere to go and play as well. How exciting is that? Cheers. Is this nice well, ice the, cream? the girls have got the ice cream now, so they're happy. I'll just have a quick look at the Tom Brown's, and it is absolutely huge, it just looks really big. Let's go and investigate. So, here they've got a, a kids' zone, and uh, Savannah and Luna have just enjoyed playing in there and uh, big TVs all over the place so you can watch your favourite sports and just loads of seating and they've got that amazing view right over the beach and if it does get a bit chilly there's an indoor area here so lots of space for everyone and more screens for the sports and there's their famous menu which Really over the years hasn't changed too much, lots of goodies and always uh, very well priced. And here they are. <laughs> well that's done, us done in Tom Brown's, we're now going to make our way back to still, now well after five o'clock, still plenty of people sunning themselves on the beach. But it's, it's almost like it's not so. And upstairs, I didn't notice that before. Crazy. Oh, and uh, we're coming to the um, Calvia inside, it's uh, part of the Melia group. You don't know more where to get my ice cream. Has it all gone? Yeah. Oh, well done. Where's it all gone to? In my mouth. Oh, well done. And uh, there's this place where they've got the swimming pool that's right up high. I actually see people swimming in the swimming pool.
getting a bit breezy and it's a fairly cool breeze too doesn't seem to be affecting the people on the beach but uh, certainly to us it feels cool once you're in the shade out of the breeze it's, uh, it's not too bad there's the pool up there You seen the swimming pool up there, Luna? Half past four. Up, right up in the sky, a, a yeah. swimming pool. There he goes. Oh, that's how windy it is. <laughs> blowing a hat off, it's blowing my hat off as well. Oh, it is. I think we've got a bit of funneling effect here. <laughs> Very windy. It's Taco Bell, Starbucks. Oh, well, this is that new golf indoor sea golf and here in the middle is um some fountains but don't expect them to be on today i'm just going to turn off there's a lot of music playing i need to turn this off now well, i can hear something behind me that i've actually turned those fountains on now and uh, someone's decided they're going to run through them i don't know if you'll see it from here <laughs> they get very wet they will this looks really nice in here this is the uh, the main street that goes through uh, Magaluf, which has got all of the the bars. There's Jokers over there, Coco Bongo, and the street goes down past Benny Hills and away to away to BCM. <laughs> Hello. Savannah's got her hat on. <laughs> McDonald's here, all open up right, and running. Stop there, Luna, because we're going to cross the road now. Soft. Hands over the road. You've got to jump on the man out of sand or daddy's hand. No. Right. Come on, Luna. Oh, Benny Hills is open now. It wasn't open when we were here. Last time it's open now. Well, time to go home. And uh, so it's goodbye from Magaluf. We're going to Bye, make our way home. And uh, oh, the girls are going to be going home tomorrow. Bye for everybody. See you next time. Bye Hello. for now.